Hello there, kia ora. Every year, around them or two, over a million people take part in events organised or funded or supported by their local councils. These might be things like concerts or festivals, movie events, parades, cultural showcases. It might be something held at a community centre that your council funds, or parks that they provide, or even organisations that they support. It covers arts, shows, cultural performances, filmmaking, and so many other things. Each council is different and each region is unique. This year, for myself, I've worked on 40 different council events with nearly quarter of a million attendees. So I know that people are going to these things. And yesterday, well yesterday the Prime Minister announced that the government is going to change the legislation that makes these available to the public. Instead of changes that the local authorities actually asked for, which would have seen sweeping progressive changes to local authorities, the government has decided instead to gut the Local Government Act and remove the four pillars of well-being section, which are essentially what they say on the box. Four different pillars councils need to take on board when it comes to the decision-making process that they use. Instead, they've been told to focus on core infrastructure, and at the same time, have been promised no more funding for frivolous want-to-haves. They're literally gutting the communities these councils work with, and four, because the idea of a holistic community approach for the betterment of all is something they seem to refuse to accept. Just about everything this government does, their decisions don't work in a vacuum. And removing the four pillars from local governance is going to have an incredibly detrimental impact on communities all over the country. For example, council investment into the creative sector means local artists can do what they do, helping the creative sector actually become one of the largest drivers of our GDP, with knock-on effects that show the creative sector is linked to things like health, public well-being, tourism, community building, and education outcomes. Community events help foster a sense of belonging, and research has shown that removing these removed that sense of belonging for communities which leads to an increase in crime, a disconnection from local issues, and could be responsible for outcomes in schools and a reduction of effectiveness of public safety measures on our roads. That sense of belonging and wanting what's best for communities is also a really strong driver for many people who go out to try and get elected around the country and be involved in their local authority. These people have a vision for their community and want them to succeed. But if the role of council is simply to pay for pipes and fill in potholes, you lose the advocacy local elected officials have to help bring real change to their homes and help the people who live there. Yesterday's decision is nothing short of a great big fuck you to those who want their homes to be better places for all, for those who know that there's some amazing potential in every corner of the country waiting to be unlocked. It's a great big middle finger to councils who have told this government to do better at letting them do their job. And it's yet another short-sighted decision from a government that wants us all to believe that success is only ever measured in dollar signs and balance sheets. Because they lack the imagination and community connection to realise that successful communities lead to a successful country. But when it comes to dollar signs and balance sheets as success markers, well maybe the government doesn't really measure up there either.